Maghrib ka muna. Good afternoon everyone. Today is the installation of Pastor Joe Fernandez from 2 Hong Kong. Our opening song, the LGBT Exclusive Church. Please stand. Stand up. Ka. leadership of the LGBT Christian Church in Hong Kong. This ministry is a blessing and a serious responsibility. It recognizes your special gifts and calls you to work among us and for us. In love, we thank you for accepting your obligation and challenge you to offer your best to the, to the Lord, to His people, and to our ministry in the world. Live a life in Christ and make Jesus Christ known in your witness and your word. Today, January 17, 2024, we, the pastors of the LGBT Christian Church in the Philippines, install you, Pastor Joe Fernandez, as the pastoral leader of the LGBT Christian Church in Hong Kong. This time. Yeah. Today, <clears throat> do you this day acknowledge yourself a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ? Will you devote yourself to the service of God in the world? Will you so live that you enable this church to be a people of love and peace? Will you do all in your power to be responsible to the task for which you have been chosen? Will you be loyal to the LGBT Christian Church core values and mission? 
Let us pray together, pastors. Almighty parent God, pour out your blessings upon your servant, Pastor Joe Fernandez, who you have been given full authority and minister to the two sacraments and five rites of the LGBT Christian churches. Grant her grace to give herself wholeheartedly in your service and ministry. Give before her the good example of our Lord, who did not be first of himself, but give himself for us all. Let Pastor Joe share her ministry and consecration, that her may enter into her joy and fulfillment, be busy in the LGBTQIA plus community in Hong Kong. Guide her in her church work. Reward her faithfulness with the knowledge and wisdom that through her your purposes and were accomplished through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, members, officer of the LGBT Christian Church, rejoice that God provides laborer for the vineyards. Will you do all you can to assist and encourage Pastor Joe Fernandez in the responsibilities to which she has been called, giving her your cooperation, your counsel, and your prayers. We will. We stand and let's uh, have a song. <coughs> I give you my heart. Give you my heart. This is my desire to all. actually is to ginagawa ng LGBT Christian Church purposely for ministering to another place na hindi maabot ng paako ng kamay ko. So, 
pinagtatalaga tayo, which is, this is biblical because yeah, the deacons are, uh, was given power, authority over all the ministry na ginagawa. But for in case sa atas sa LGBTS Church, hindi deacon, kundi pastor agad kasi nga, we are lacking of uh, people to minister the people kasi ang daming uh, ano to? Ang daming plenty ang ano, ang vineyards pero kokoti ang mga uh, So, this is actually a formality but we all know that Pastor Joe is leading the church in Hong Kong since two years ago. Tama ka? Or is this last year lang? Three, four years ago. So since uh, uh, Bayong decided to retire, so uh, si Pastor is now taking the lead on the ministry sa Hong Kong. Actually, we are still praying for more pastors in Singapore, Japan, daming nagre-request ng local churches. So, uh, by doing this, so, uh, hindi to ang huli, hindi una sa mga susunod na gagawin natin sa mga uh, sa simbahan natin. We are here to stay. We're a very small church, but sabi na, yung maliit na bato ay nakakapuwing. So, we are, sabi na yung mga afraid, essential important uh, potential yan pala. we have the potential of you know uh, transforming lives history and everything into a, very, uh, a society that is more uh, loving and caring so uh, it's a responsibility it's uh, it's a duty you know? so we live to live the life of fullness and you know be of service of all Sir. 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 Sir kanyang uh, instrumento sa pagpapahayag ng uh, mabuting balita hindi lang sa LGBT community kundi sa lahat ng kanyang nilikha ay mailapit natin ito sa Diyos upang kilalanin nila si Kristo bilang Panginoon at ang pagligtas. Kaya ano ha? Patuloy na kasihan ka ng kanyang tanal na Espiritu Santo upang ang lahat ng iyong gagawin sa kanyang ubasan ay tunay na marami tayong aaminin kaduluwa. God bless. <coughs> uh, Pastor Joe, congratulations sa iyong installation today na may mabuhay ka at mabuhay ka ka <laughs> sa pangangalaga ng ating Panginoong Seso Kristo ay pangalap mo ang kanyang mabuting salita sa lahat ng tao, especially sa mga LGBT community, no? Um, sabi nga, you cannot please everybody but to inspire other people, it's enough, no? Para magalpanan mo kung ano yung binigay na layunin sa iyo, okay, Lord. And keep it up and more power to you. God bless. Show us a show. Now we will have the installation of the pastor's elements. We start with the casa. <coughs> the symbolism of the casa is obedience. The symbolism to serve the Lord Jesus the Christ, as well as giving witness <coughs> to the sovereign yet to come. Fullness of life.
The symbolism of the crucible can be found expressed in the traditional prayer that the pastor prays before putting it on. O oh Lord, who had said, My yoke is sweet and my burden light, grant that I may so carry it as to merit the, thy grace. The crucible is seen as the yoke of Christ and reminds the priest that he is another Christ in the sacrifice of the Mass and to put on the new man who according to God is created in justice and holiness of truth. The cut, the chasuble, the, the stole, either the liturgical vestment in which symbolizes priestly authority in a Protestant denomination which do not have priests but use stoles, uh, chasubles as the liturgical vestment. Receive this Bible symbolize the Word of God. The Bible is a comp compilation of stories of the love of the people to God. The Bible is about love, not hate. May this Bible bring your wisdom and knowledge to spread the good news to all people and bring all of them to the service of humankind in a loving and caring society. The candle. <clears throat> Receive this candle, symbolized to be the light of the world through your service to the LGBTQI plus community in Hong Kong and in Asia. Be the light to all who meet you and encounter you. The anointing of the oil. Oil was a familiar important cultural symbol of the Old Testament times. The anointing of the oil, oil was not merely a tool in the ceremony. It foreshadowed the work of the Holy Spirit that was to come in the New Testament times. As with all your other spiritual tools, the real power comes from God. Simply put, anointing oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit coming us, coming upon us to heal, empower, and bless. This 
세스탄 세스탄 꼭 잡아야겠다 O Diyos, sa, sa oras na ito ay aming itina talaga si Pastor Jo na panaway gamitin mo Panginoon sa iyong ubasan hindi lang sa community ng LGBTS Christian Church kundi sa lahat Panginoon ng uh, klase ng iyong gawain katulad ng aming Panginoong Heso Kristo at ang responsibilidad na nakaata ngayon sa kanyang balikat Panginoon upang humayo at maglingkod sa buong sanlibutan ay nakasalalay sa iyong banal na kapangyarihan at sa pamamagitan ng iyong banal na Espiritu Santo Panginoon ay tunay na ikaw ang magbigay sa kanya ng wisdom kapangyarihan upang patuloy niyang harapin ang mapanghamon at mapanghusgang mundo lalo na Panginoon sa kanyang kalagayan kaya kuberan mo Panginoon ang iyong banal na dugo upang sa gayon anuman ang sakuna o sulyarnin na kanyang haharapin ay tunay na magtatagumpay dahil ikaw ang Diyos na siyang nangako sa amin at ang kanyang itatayong na simbahan iglesia sa Hong Kong o Diyos na sa kalukuyan ay ginagawa na nga niya ito lalo mo itong palawaking pagyamanin sa pamamagitan ng mga kapatiran po namin doon ay patuloy na pag uh, pagbuklorin mo sila ng isang layunin at higit sa lahat ang dakilang pag-ibig na siyang nagbubuklod po sa kanila. O Diyos, patuloy na naway. Pagpalain mo siya kasama ang kanyang partner upang patuloy na maihayag ang dakilang pag-ibig sa kanilang mga buhay. Kung aming dalangin sa tanging pangalan ni Kristo Jesus, sa aming Amen. 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 Pagpurihan ng Diyos sa buhay. Hanap ko sa'yo. Ito. Pagpurihan natin ang Diyos. Ito tayo lang.
bicho. Hey, tu familia. If you like this video, hit the like button. LGBT Eskerson Church, number 424, Project 6, Quezon City, Philippines. Certificate of installation. This is to certify that Jocelyn P. Fernandez is the official pastoral leader of the LGBT Eskerson Church in Hong Kong. She has all the authority and power to perform all duties, responsibility as a pastor and a minister to the LGBTQI plus community in Hong Kong. Given on the 17th of January in the year of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ, 2024, at the LGBTS Convent Project 6, Quezon City, Philippines. Attested by Reverend yours truly, with Reverend <coughs> Edgar Cabrera of Bulaca, with Pastor Macario Sakap of Quezon City, with Brother Rodel Asarton, our Church Secretary, and Brother Marlon Philippine as Church Auditor. Congratulations! Sa ating ano. Oo, sama sa ating Masirang na 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 pamigay mo sa buong Hong Kong. Ang <laughs> basher mo niya. Kaya di ba di pa 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 ng mga tori po si mo niya. Pagpigay mo. Pag-inos mo, ipag-inos mo lang ang araw at lahat. Makita. 